things. However, they don't think about the different problems that come with having a car. For example, they have to think about what time they have to leave the house in order to get to school on time because of the traffic. According to an article, Odyssey Online in 2015, it states, they have to manage what time they leave their house, worry about and try to predict traffic, and then have to deal with the previously mentioned issue of parking. These stressors cause more uh, anxiety, while dorm students only have to walk 10 minutes to class every day. An article by Lifestyle Challenges for Commuter Students, it states, stress among commuter students may develop from overextended workloads, difficulty with time management, and issues with interpersonal relationships. Another research done by three scientists named Ka, Gonya, and Palbar show that the farther a student lives from campus, the less engaged they are in class. It also showed that they are less involved in school activities such as football games and other rallies like volleyball games. Uh, commuters also need extra guidance in developing self-esteem, managing impulses, and dealing with authority as well as establishing their identity on campus. One of the main benefits that comes with living on campus is the physical activity. For example, walking to class every day um, gives you the first uh, physical activity, as well as an accessible gym um, at all times. This gym, as you know, is the REC, and it um, has various um, different uh, resources that people can use in order to be physically active. In an article by exploring the relationship between college students' barriers to exercise and motivation, it states benefits associated with physically active lifestyle include the reduction in the risk of developing high blood pressure, coronary heart disease, and diabetes, as well as it reduces the symptoms of anxiety and depression. Therefore, students who are more physically active are in a more healthy state than those who are not active. Others argue that the sickness in dorm life is more um, easier to, excuse me. Therefore, students from, some, stu some people argue that students living in the dorm's closed quarters are more likely to contract disease. As stated in my article, the truth comes out, dorm life can kill you. Many of you have heard of the poly plague or have experienced the dreadful symptoms of having a cold or a fever. As we know though, these symptoms will disappear after a while. Other people argue that the um, more Excuse me, the more um, intense diseases, such as meningitis, could be another um, uh, could be another benefit. Excuse me. Um, colleges require students to get a shot to get shots before coming to college, such as the meningitis shot, in an effort to decrease the risk of disease. Another benefit of living on campus would be the dorm life would be the support from the dorm life. We live together, so we go through the same problems and the same things. We, uh, this allows us to grow together and work together in order to succeed. In the article Perceived Social Support and Roommate Status, it states, those who perceive that they have high levels of social support may be able to enjoy greater academic adjustment because they believe they have the professors, classmates, and other peers available, available to support them in completing their academic tasks. Students that live on campus are healthier, happier, and achieve better grades than those who commute to and from college. So what can you do next year if you'd like to live on campus again? You can apply to live in Poly Canyon Village. Um, the website would be right there, uh, www.housing.calpoly.edu. Or if you know any, any oncoming freshmen that would like or are not sure if they want to commute or if they want to live on campus, you can try to encourage them to live on campus.